everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly uh, singles a love reading for Capricorn. How are you guys this week, Capricorn? So I'm going to try to make these a little shorter to make the people happy who like a little shorter reading. I'm compromising this week. So there we are. I see some kind of truth, success, victory. Yeah. Okay. Capricorn. Somebody here, someone's walking away from something that, that's not working. So it may be someone having a little aha moment. Okay, but I do see somebody uh, heading in your direction. Things are about to shift in your favor. So this could happen with somebody that you work with, but it's energy of building, someone perfecting their craft and skills. Uh, you could have a person too. I gotta be honest here, little uh, fool energy, the Aries taking a leap of faith, pushing through fear. So it's a win or lose situation. Yeah, looks like you got someone who wants to build. Could be someone you work with. Yeah. See some emotional fulfillment. Yeah, that's a little bit of a risk. Someone's a little worried about being rejected. Yeah, or it's possible, like I say, um, it could. This could be. You may have someone here. Someone's walking away from someone who's not their type. They don't really see a future with them. Um, but I actually feel like you have a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe somebody has a little uh, Aries in their chart. It doesn't have to be. So it looks as though there's a cycle ending. Things are shifting in your favor. Win or lose, it's a risk. Someone's worried about being rejected. <laughs> uh -huh. Someone's walking away from someone who's not their type as well, by the looks of it. Yeah, so there's some kind of truth, something maybe about children or somebody coming in to tell you they've been crushing on you. Or you could have someone who's walking away from someone because they want children or someone doesn't. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Yeah, see, it's thank you, but no thank you. Yeah, it's an energy of someone. It's just not their type or not what they want. Uh, but yet you've got this person here who um, could be a person who, uh, single parent energy, but it's also an energy of keeping things simple It's uh, and a crush. So there's the energy of taking a little pause, looking at things different. Yeah, someone seeing things from a different perspective. Now, I don't know if it's someone who rejected you or you rejected them whatever the energy is, but it's almost like there's something mutual here. Yeah, you got an opportunity coming in. Things are about to shift in your favor. Someone's seeing things from your perspective, or they just have a change of perspective. And I see some emotional fulfillment. So, wow, whoops, the cards are flying all over the place. There we go, let me fix those. All over. All right, let's see what this fool energy is about. What is this leap of faith going down this path? Yeah, teaming up here. Someone wants it. Now, I actually feel that you may have something compatible, but it may have been an issue. Compatibility or just, you know, um, sometimes I see this as two people coming together and that top one is a baby. Could be a person who's ready for a family for the future. Could be, like I say, um, there may have been a rejection at some point here, but I actually feel it's about an opportunity. Maybe there was an opportunity in the past. Maybe it's somebody when you were young. It feels like it has something to do with children. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's see. Anything else here? Yeah, it's like almost like a, you both see as a missed opportunity or you've both gone through something similar you have something in common um, ten of cups why is this here yeah a little cautious playing it safe yeah someone didn't get something they wanted so it could be a person who's wanted children never had them Maybe they were someone who wasn't sure and missed an opportunity. Often you'll see this energy with someone who's never had children and actually wants children. Uh, and if that's not the issue, it has to do with uh, someone coming in to tell you the truth. Okay? Okay? That they're crushing on you. Maybe they just want to keep si things simple at first. But, you know, the hangman's lovely. It's a person who's taken that time to go do a little introspection. 
Okay. I think it's a person who's having a realization they've missed an opportunity. Or they don't want to. Tell me about the Four of Cups. There we go. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, look at this. This is nice. See, this is, this is somebody who... Um, you're about to get some kind of wish fulfillment or it's something that you wanted from someone or just something in your life. You know, this is like the whole life. Uh, happy home, happy life. Yeah, look at that. I actually feel for a lot of you, it's just a person who's never had children. Uh, you may have met, it's possible. But this person's ready to go down that path. Yeah, they're cautious. Okay, but that's also yourself playing it safe, being cautious. Uh, but you're about to get something you want. This is a, a stable, reliable partner, someone you can count on and rely on. Maybe this is something you've never had as a reliable, stable, financially stable partner, vice versa. It's marriage material. Yeah, so look at that. I actually feel you've got a person, you both haven't, ha I don't even know if it has anything to do with the two of you. It almost feels like you both have never really gotten what you wanted of relationships. I feel like you're both about to get what you want. I see this emotional fulfillment. I see the two of you teaming up. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're both going to go for this, taking a leap of faith. Some of you have been married before. You took a risk, rushed into love, pushed through fear, and you didn't get what you wanted. So now it's more about being a little cautious. But this is nice because you have this energy in common. I think you're going to go for it here. I think you both are. <laughs> Pushing through that fear. See, it's, you're leaving something behind, both of you. One last look over your shoulder. You're going to go for this. Oh, yeah. Taking that risk, you see. Oh, yeah. Little Aries energy. Someone has a little Aries energy in their chart here. So I feel as this is someone who's quite financially stable. Maybe this is something you never got was a, a stable, reliable partner. Uh, maybe you were the one who... Uh, did all the work. Queen of Pentacles often is someone who is very focused on the finances. This could be a boss or something as well here. <laughs> yeah, I think you got yourself a stable partner, but this is someone who's quite loving and nurturing. Um, could be someone who's never had children, never had a family. They may be older. You know, if you're a single parent, they may be like, wow. But it's a person who's taken that pause. A little Pisces energy here, too. So this person could have Pisces in their chart. Um, interesting. Or they could be a Pisces. But I feel this is someone who's taken that moment, introspection. They're going to offer you. They want to build something with you. Now, this could, i got to be honest, it could start out with a job offer. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a person, too. It's also an energy of someone who's a bit of a perfectionist. You know, it's energy of someone with, you know, perfecting their skills. It's likely a person who is looking for someone like yourself, stable, grounded. You know how to focus on your money, have a comfortable home. Uh, you can be counted on. But I feel it's a vice versa there, too. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this is someone fantasizing, looking at all the possibilities. Um, this is a person who's about to make a decision here. Uh, likely, this person might be looking to see if you have other options. It could be kind of checking you out, too. Not too sure. But it really looks like you both never got what you wanted out of your relationships. Or you both have something in common. Um, you're single parents or you don't want children or, you know, that's the energy. It's going to definitely be different for everyone. Tell me about that Six of Cups energy for Capricorn. Why is this here? Yeah, someone who's determined here. So Cancer, Pisces energy. Is this a person who is determined? And there, it's an energy of a person who's... Um, determined to have this be successful, win or lose. So it really has to do with a person who's probably concerned about rejection, but win or lose, they're going to do it. It looks like a lot of you, it's just a new crush. Um, this is likely with the emperor energy, someone who will likely show you they like you. you they may start 
um, doing nice things for you at work, giving you things, offering you things, buying you little things, gifts. I can also see an energy of sentimental energy. Something very sentimental. It's an energy of longing. Somebody longing for a successful relationship uh, to go the distance. Tell me more about this chariot. Someone who's determined here. Yeah, see, see, someone here is determined. This could be someone who's lonely, in a sense of loss and longing. Could be someone, could be uh, people who, uh, the children have gone off on the road and now they're lonely. <laughs> Especially that energy of this uh, emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. Yeah, they want to date you, that's for sure. They definitely want to date you. They're coming in. Uh, this person's exploring their feelings and emotions. You see, they're looking at all the possibilities. It's possible, you know, uh, so somebody who has other options that they're not interested in. They're not interested in anyone else or you feel that way. Or like I say, with the three of pentacles, you have that energy in common. Got other people around you. You're just not interested in any of them. But they're definitely interested in you because they're right there. <laughs> Emperor. This is somebody who's generally quite logical. Uh, definitely with an energy of caution. Yeah, see, a little cautious. So they have a little earth energy. Taking their time. But it could be you taking your time, planning for success. This is a person who's um, a little apprehensive about taking a risk. But they're going to. Yeah, look at that. I think this is going to, yeah, there it is. They're going to give you something you want, okay? Or you're about to get something you want. You have this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity, okay? Because I actually feel um, that this person is actually someone who, not only are you going to have things in common, uh, I feel this is an energy where... Um, Yes, there's going to be a need to cooperate and compromise, especially if there is children, single parent energy. Uh, but I feel it's all the possibilities. This person's looking at all their feelings, looking at all the possibilities. You see? Of where this could go. But they are a little apprehensive. They're looking at the details, but they want it to be successful. So, you know, there's a lot of... Um, I would have to say uh, wishful thinking energy, but they're going to date you, okay? Um, they're kind of exploring their feelings, you know, how they feel about a particular situation. Now, like I say, they're taking a pause. They're doing some inner reflection, seeing things from a different perspective. This is somebody who's lonely, sense of longing and loss. Maybe they've never had children, you know, and they, or their children have gone off on their own. Yeah. It's definitely looking like loneliness and lack, you know. Someone who hasn't, if it's yourself, um, you're, you've got something here that's in common. I can't put my finger on it. Today is one of those days. What is it you have in common? King of Cups. Love. Yeah. You both want love. You both are cautious. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, it's here twice. So you have that energy in common. You both want love. You both are wanting emotional fulfillment. You're both going to give each other what you want here. This is the thing. Neither of you have gotten what you wanted. Love, the real deal, someone you can count on. You see, that's what's happening here. But what else you have in common is you're both playing it safe. But you want that wish fulfillment. So you're about to get what you want. That's what I feel is going to happen here. You, know, you may not realize it, though. Don't miss the, and I. Honestly, it feels like them more that not missing this opportunity. See, this is someone who doesn't want to miss the opportunity. But they also know they need to push through that fear and take a risk. It is possible, yeah, you might reject them. They may not be your type, but I feel like you, you should check this out. It could be someone you've known a long time ago. You never know. When you were young, as I, you know. Or you both 
your children have gone on their way and you know, you're lonely and the house is empty and it's now time to connect with someone. See, you taming the beast, being strong, being brave. Don't miss this opportunity. <laughs> this could be an energy, like I say, a lack of confidence here. But it looks like, you know, you're going to, yeah, you're going to manifest each other. Uh, it's going to be communication here. Um, it's possible this person may um, reach out at some point and try to communicate. You may miss the communication. It could be that simple. Okay. Yeah, I feel with the magician here, though, it's like you're mirroring each other. Because we've got the king of cups twice. See, both, neither one of you, you both want love. Um, both family oriented, but neither one of you have got what you wanted in past relationships. But you have this opportunity. Things are about to shift in your favor for a future. Happy home, happy life. See, uh, you never, I feel like that's what you have in common. I feel like you both uh, want a happy home and life and you never got it. Yeah, see, look at that. Someone felt like there was not a lot of hope here. Ah, yeah, see, to have a long-term relationship, uh, something that would go the distance. This is likely a person who's dated a lot of people, never really found anyone, Like likely has lots of options, but they're not interested, you see? Maybe even yourself. But yeah, you're mirroring each other here. You're kind of similar. <laughs> Dated a lot of people, haven't had a successful relationship, nothing that went very far or uh, long term. Uh, so there it is, you see. It's about going the distance, commitment. Um, both of you likely have taken risks, got married. Maybe you got married when you were young. Uh, maybe there was a lack of money. Uh, things were tough. But I actually feel things are going to get better here. The wheel of fortune, there's a shift, end of a cycle. Uh, things are going to get better here because I can see the future, the uh, emotional fulfillment. Uh, saying to let go of this, look at things from a different perspective. Okay, let go of that negativity. See, this is somebody with the cup was half full. They never got what they wanted. They felt like there was no hope to ever meet anyone. Uh, so it's almost an energy of someone. Now, I don't see the energy of someone giving up, but... I think this person really is thinking marriage and commitment, going the distance. I also feel this is someone who feel they're lonely, you know, lacking attention. Um, I mean, it's possible maybe you feel they're not your type. Maybe they want too much attention. You're busy with work and other things. But I feel like you, it's an opportunity going to be missed or has been missed. And I feel like you mirror each other. You have things in common. You're going through some similar energy. See, and there's the star, your hopes and dreams. It almost feels too good to be true. But this is actually could be, this person sees you as their hopes and dreams. You see, they're fantasizing. Um, but they may feel like you're out of their league. So they have a little bit of negativity here. Yeah. But, you know, they see you as a reliable partner, someone stable. Now, it's possible you got somebody here who uh, always wanted to reach out. Sometimes I see the hanged man as the wallflower, someone who just kind of hangs around and never really approaches anyone. You know, and they just kind of hang around and they don't really do anything. So it's possible uh, that's the situation. It's someone you may have known uh, when you were young, but it really, for most of you, it's uh, the latter. Yeah, I, I feel like this person is someone who kind of feels the situation's out of reach, but I feel they need to let go of this, um, something that no longer serves. But I feel like it's you. I feel like you have something you need to let go of, something that no longer serves you, okay? Whatever that is. Maybe it's yourself, fear of rejection. See, it's about timing see the timing being right uh, something to do with the timing uh, it's possible you may know this person you may have um, both been married at the same time you've got mirroring energy where you both have a lot of energy in common okay that that's really really strong energy so uh, you definitely know who they are 
but it doesn't mean that you'll it could be someone from a long time ago if you were in a, a marriage that wasn't didn't go well there was a lot of luck they may have been one at the same time but i feel it has to do with timing and investing waiting patiently some of you are more invested in your money too like you might not even see this coming so look at little pisces trusting your intuition being wise um, Keeping things to yourself. This could be a secret admirer. Somebody who's admiring you. The Pisces Cancer. They definitely have the Pisces Cancer energy. Either or there. Maybe both. They're definitely um, somebody emotionally mature. They're available. Yeah. And quite attractive. <laughs> You know, physically attractive and likely attracted to you. This could be the one, you know. Um, they may actually see you that way. This is quite quite the reading, yeah. So there's definitely going to be... I think this person's going to be quite spontaneous. I feel they're going to come towards you very quickly. Um, some of you, like I say, I don't know if you want this, though. i got to be honest. I, I don't know. You're being cautious, careful what you wish for. It's like you've never gotten what you wanted in the past. It's almost like you're more focused on yourself, your money. Um, and you kind of stick to yourself. Uh, some of you as well spend a fair bit of time alone. But uh, unless you're a, you know, someone who falls into the single parent category, but I feel like it's going to come in quick out of the blue and of delays. I feel like you're going to get what you want. I really do. What, something that you wanted you've never had before in a relationship. And I feel this is the way this person sees you as their hopes and dreams. Okay. Whoops. Card just went flying. So I feel... Yeah, so there's an energy of taking a break, healing. Maybe you haven't dated for a while. I see the energy of releasing negativity. Some of you have been just taking a break from dating. I also feel some of you are, at the end of the workday, you're drained. <laughs> you don't have a lot of energy. I see a little bit of a workaholic energy there. Yeah, so thoughts that pin you down, though. I feel like you... You've either missed an opportunity with this person or you have the possibility you may with this person uh, when they come in. Because they're going to come in quick out of the blue and a delay. See, this person's taking that leap of faith. Very spontaneous. Uh, it's an emperor. This is someone who knows what they want. They're going for it, you see. They're just going to come a calling. There will be a communication. They're taking action to offer you um, now, this is an invitation. Let's see. Could be a work. Yeah, it could be. It could start out with work. <laughs> um, but I feel it's an invitation to, um, well, they want to build something, that's for sure, perfecting their craft. Now, they could invite you to their place of business. This person could be a chef or a cook or something. I get this impression that they're, uh, someone who's quite nurturing. They love to have someone to care for. It's like they miss that. Okay. But they're perfecting their craft and skill. So they're offering you uh, this opportunity. Now, it could be just a work event or something where they're inviting you uh, to build something. There it is. The birth of something new. I feel like this could start out with work. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have a single person. See, some of you financial stuff starting to go in your favor I see with this new cycle uh, this person's definitely single but see there you are single uh, working building perfecting your own craft and skills I think it's going to start out through a work opportunity or something creative that you're really good at that they're not <laughs> Uh, but I see someone who's enjoying the fruits of their labors. There's someone here who has everything but love. Uh, we have a single empress here. This person definitely, we have an emperor and an empress, which is so interesting. I, I think this person is, um, they want to build, there's no doubt. It's also about putting in the effort, coming in right. 
Yeah, I also see an energy been there, done that, where you'd rather be single. So I feel like you have a an opportunity, and I feel like you're not going to be so sure. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. It's the energy of being independent. Yeah, single, living alone, building your own financial foundation. They see you as marriage material. They want to build with you. I don't know what they're going to offer you. I don't know. Do you need something fixed? The uh, magicians here I often see that as someone who actually has tools. Uh, they may offer to fix something in your house for you. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a reason to celebrate. Uh, I feel they're going to invite you someplace. They definitely want you to come alone. I feel they want to get you alone too. So just so you know. But I don't think this person is going up to anything. Uh, that you need to worry about. I, I actually feel you know them, but you may not be somebody who's around you where you think of. Okay. It's somebody from a long time ago, probably somebody you worked with, maybe your first job. I don't know. But <laughs> I feel they're going to come in right. I feel this is someone who has never had a successful relationship yeah, they've been playing the field for some time here. Uh, definitely, uh, uh, you both share an energy of being a little bit of a free spirit. I also feel this person is someone who uh, has definitely been chasing success and financial stability and emperor for a long time. They're now ready for uh, another relationship. So I actually feel this is where you're at, is uh, taking a break from dating, focusing on work. And when you're done work, you're exhausted, even uh, drained. So you haven't really been dating, some of you. But yeah, that cycle's going to end. <laughs> Uh, things are about to shift here. So, yeah, you're getting a heads up about missing an opportunity with this person. And it's possible, too. Um, you both have missed opportunities. You may Your paths may have crossed at some point here. But um, I'm not seeing the two of wands to feel like your paths have crossed at some point and you just went your separate ways. Uh, I often see that, and it happens a lot with people. When you're young, you meet people at parties or through other people. You have a nice conversation, never see them again. You go your separate ways, and then all of a sudden, years later, you run in together, and you barely remember each other, you know, until all of a sudden the light bulb goes off. I mean, it could be that kind of situation. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, see? And are, see, I feel some of you, it's almost like you'd rather be single. The ship has sailed. Now, if it has to do with maybe they have, they're a single parent and you're not into it, you know, whatever the situation. But I actually feel this person would be more interested in family and children than not. Uh, but I, can, I feel as though it's an energy of uh, something you've been waiting for that you never have got is a stable, solid partner. You've got something new. So everything is going to be illuminated, okay? It's all going to uh, be illuminated. This person's going to start it. They are the one who's going to come in. So there's an invitation. It could be online dating, social media, through friends or family or in your community. You may, they may just be in your social circle. So very nice energy. Yeah, but I have a feeling now... That you might say no. But there you go. Or you're just going to go to bed and miss, and, and literally miss a very spontaneous um, message. It could come from someone else kind of being relayed through someone as well. Especially if you don't know who they are. Most of you, I feel like you'll know who it is. So very nice. I do think they're quite smart. I feel this person's uh, analyzing the situation. I feel their intentions are positive. Uh, their intentions is to date you, okay? Uh, so I, I feel this. there's nothing negative about this person. Very smart, very logical. But it has to do with this magician, the uh, communication, some mercury energy. See? It's a, like almost like just a missed communication. Um, so I hope not. I do think they'll come back around. I'm hoping or it's already happened and they're going to try again. <laughs> so you have this chance uh, to build something. It could start through a work offer or a work party celebration. 
Um, but this person wants to build. See, some of you been there, done that. It's too much work. You're you're more focused on work. You're single. Um, I mean, it's possible they could reach out and just ask you if you're single too. But you got the birth of something new, and it's um, positive. So, crossing my fingers for you. <laughs> Those of you who watch singles readings and then go, no, I'd rather be single. I always question, why are you watching singles readings? You know why? Because you've never really got what you wanted. And you, unless you get what you want, you'd rather be single. But if the right person came along and the timing was right, the timing was right and they put in the effort and they were sweet and kind and caring and nurturing, um, would you go for it? I have a funny feeling that you would say yes. So uh, there's some reason why this reading is uh, about the missed opportunities. Uh, some of you may be older too. This could be uh, a lot of energy of people who are more mature, who've raised their children, not interested. You, all you do is work and focus on your house and your home and you literally are drained at the end of the day. You're not uh, that interested or you've never really, um, you're not meeting anyone that's your type. This person could be your type if you take this opportunity, okay? So take care, crossing my fingers, and we'll see you soon.